And it is Wayne's World. <laughs> Just enjoy the demo. The demo can't even play the game. That's how bad this game is. So you'll notice kind of a theme with the kind of games that I run. But they tend to be lesser loved games. <laughs> Look at the demo. Alright, let's go. So I'll count you down. Three, two, one, go. Alright. So this is Wayne's World. So right, right away we start off with a classic scene from the movie. Where Wayne... Or, uh, Garth is riding a giant drum past other giant drums while shooting his laser gun. Probably the, the most remembered scene from the whole movie. Look at that spread rhythm. So this game kind of works. You do a... You usually do a Garth stage, and then you do a Wayne stage. Alright, we're going to try and make this jump. Please let me over. Okay. Whew! That is a scary jump. You can die very easily there. You see on the wall. Way! No way! Way! I think it says no stairway at some point. Alright, so, uh... We also remember the classic scene of... Wayne karate kicking a stack of records. Alright, I'm gonna try to show you this glitch. You kill this guy all the way on the, the right side. You can do a screen wrap. <laughs> it actually costs time, but it's... It's a pretty cool glitch. Alright, so after every Wayne stage, uh, you wind up back at the donut shop. And this is the only, pretty much the only consistent place to refill your health. I'm gonna refill my health and I'm gonna move on. Also, yeah, that. Other classic scene where Garth is shooting his laser gun at a fat man that's throwing donuts at him. Alright, this screen is actually relatively scary. Fastest way is to just deboost inside these guys and then just keep jumping. And these platforms are not good. Woo! Oh, nice. Okay. It's very easy to get comboed there. Oh, there's Stacy. A gun rack, Stacy. If you uh, let her catch you, she takes you in a cutscene that says that. <laughs> Jump on stage, and that's that. That stage is pretty short. So yeah, if you if you actually if you've ever seen the uh, the other NES classic, uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, this is made by like the same team. Like, it's the same engine and everything. But unlike uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, this game is not fun to speedrun. Alright, this stage, uh, Garth is running away from ninjas and cats. I know I haven't seen the movie in a while. It's probably in it. The ninjas do, uh, like, four damage to you if they hit you, so they're, they're pretty troublesome. The cats will give you a 2 HP if you shoot them. So I'll just grab it along the way. Oh my goodness, sir. <laughs> wow. See how much damage you just did to me? Alright, we should be fine. Just don't take another big hit like that. Alright. And then we have this pink ninja, which you gotta kill to get into this door. And we're back in the donut shop. I'm just gonna collect a bunch of health. Really want, like, full health for the next stage. I don't know if I've showed it yet, but if you fall from too high in this game, uh, you will take fall damage. Really dumb. Alright, can we get the glitch? Nah. There's a neat glitch you can do in the donut shop. Uh, I'm going to try and do it in one of them, at least. Alright, and I'm assuming uh, that this stage is, like, 
like political commentary on uh, how TV is bad for us. That's just that's just what I'm gathering from it. So yeah, you just gotta stop and kick each TV screen twice. And then uh, these next two screens are actually the most dangerous screens in the whole game. These platforms are pure garbage. Okay, that's fine. Okay, drop light. Okay. Gotta watch out for these light bulbs falling and these spiders. The jumps in this on this screen are not too bad, but the jumps on the next screen are quite dangerous. And if you if you fall on the, either of these screens, uh, you have to do that whole TV screen again. You go all the way back to there. Although I did just realize that I should be doing a. You can do these full jumps, like really high jumps. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. And that actually makes these jumps way easier. One. Two, three. Okay. That's a scary jump, and then... Alright, we're good. That's the most dangerous screen in the whole game. And most costly. Alright, so we're, we're up to the final stage. The next stage is the final stage. Alright, so there's only pretty much been like... Oh, there it is! There we go! I don't even care that I'm not getting health. We can moonwalk. Oh, this fly is super annoying. And this kid throwing pies at you. I don't get it. <laughs> Alright. It's fine. And then we got one more stage with Wayne. And then a final boss. And that is it for Wayne's world. Alright, you, you can't really tell from uh, just watching, but there is... An invisible wind on this screen, blowing from left to right, indicated by the newspapers. So you have to actually be uh, mindful of that. All right, hopefully I don't get hit by these cats. Alright, nice. <clears throat> One more screen to get past. Condos, also. Hoping not to get trolled by a newspaper. Okay, very nice. Alright, so we got the final boss. This epic final boss fight. Come on up, buddy. Or oh, don't. Okay. And time is going to be on the fade out. It's going to be very soon. Alright, that's time. And this is the, the victory screen. That's literally it. <laughs> and the game loops. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, my PB for this is like 629, I think. And there's only one other person, person uh, Author Blues. He ran it before me. And he's got like a 7... Right around seven minutes. But yeah, you also notice a theme that in a lot of these games, I'm just about the only runner. <clears throat> also, yeah, if you didn't notice, that demo was struggling super hard. 